Hey guys, this is Annalise. I was lucky enough to have her over the other day to do her makeup, so we've done a spotlight eye inspired by Stacey Marie. Just starting off with a bit of Fix Plus and some Benefit Professional through the T-zone. And on the rest of the face, I'm using a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector just to give a really glowy look. The foundation is the MAC Pro Longly Nourishing Waterproof Foundation, so this is very long wearing and very full coverage. Just buffing this all over the skin. I'm just adding a little bit of warmth with the MAC Quick Trick Stick and Earth Nut. I'm using this around the forehead and the cheekbones. It's really important when you're buffing um, cream products into the skin that you buff upwards. If you take it too low, then the contour can start to look very false. And now I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer for under the eyes and to brighten the high points of the face. So the forehead and the chin as well as down the bridge of the nose. To set the T-zone in underneath the eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Loose Powder. I really love how finely milled this powder is, so it's not heavy on the skin at all. I do like the skin to have quite a natural finish, so I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Light Plus Mineralized Powder and just buffing this all over the skin really lightly to give a natural kind of sheen. Using the MAC Times Caitlyn Jenna Bronzer to warm up the skin. This isn't sold anymore, so Give Me Sun is another really great option. Um, I'm just using this on the same places that we placed the Quick Trick Stick. Using the MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Blush in shade Dainty and placing this on the apples of the cheek and blending backwards on the same angle that you place your bronzer. By doing this it gives a very natural flush and it's not too focused on the apple of the cheek. Using MAC Cosmetics Soft and Gentle on the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow as well as the forehead. And I only like to place a small amount on the forehead just to bring back a little bit of shine without looking too false. Just prepping the eyebrows by brushing them up with a clean spoolie and then I'm going to go in with the MAC Cosmetics Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow. I like to use this really sharp on the outer corners of the eyebrow to give a really precise line and then through the rest of the brow just quite softly. As a base for our eyeshadow I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is really great for cancelling out any discoloration and just giving a very blank canvas for the eyeshadow to go on. The Pro Longwear Paint Pots are really really long wearing as well so it's going to help to keep your eyeshadow on for a lot longer as well as stopping the creasing from happening. For eyeshadows today I'm using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette as well as the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette. First of all, I'm starting off with shade Amethyst, and this is going through the crease, focusing really well on the outer and inner corner, um, and then just connecting through the crease. I like to keep most of the color focused on the inner and outer corner. I'm just using a MAC 217 brush. Any sort of fluffy brush will do, but still have a little bit of density to it so you can pack on the color. Using shade Amethyst underneath the eye as well from outer to inner corner and dragging it down quite low so it's nice and blown out and smoky. I'm using a small pencil brush to do this so I can stay quite precise with my placement. I am just going to show you the one eye so it's a lot easier for you to follow along. And now just jumping into the Warm Brown Obsessions palette. Unfortunately, these don't have names, so just choose a color that's similar, or if you're using this palette, then just choose the one that I've pointed at. And I'm using the same pencil brush and taking this color from outer to inner corner again, but keeping it closer to the lash line and not buffing it down as far. Now I'm going to place this on the inner corner as well as the outer corner. I'm not blending with this brush, I'm more just placing the shadow down so that you can get a lot of pigment from it. And now going back in with the original 217 brush. 
Use this brush to blend the inner and outer shadows to meet through the center of the lid. Again, keeping the shadows focused more on the outer and inner corners. Now I'm just taking a slightly darker shade and doing the same thing again. So placing the color down and then buffing out afterwards. Once you're happy with the blend and the depth of the shadows, you're gonna grab a concealer. I'm using the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. I'm using a flat shadow brush and you're wanting to place the concealer directly onto the center of the lid. Look straight ahead and if you can see the concealer, it's perfect. You don't wanna take it too high. Once you've got the placement right, you're gonna to start to create a round shape. I like to take mine quite wide because by the time you blend the shadows over the edge, you start to lose the width. Once you're happy with the width, you wanna make sure there's not much concealer left on the brush and you're just gonna pat the edges. Once you've done that and you're happy with the shape, you're gonna go back in with the original blending shade, the shadow that we used first, which is shade Amethyst. And you're just gonna buff this over the edges of the concealer so that there's no harsh lines. We're gonna go back and forth and blend over the shadows a lot, like a lot throughout this process. So it is gonna take some time and you do have to be patient, but you'll just watch me go back and forth with the same shadows. I'm using the darker shadow now so that there's not too much of a harsh line between amethyst and the concealer. And now popping a little bit of twilight on the inner and outer parts of the concealer and leaving the middle completely blank. Now taking MAC Cosmetics Nylon Eyeshadow from my customized brow palette, I'm placing this through the center of the spotlight eye so it really pops. I also use this to really carve out that line again at the top so it's nice and harsh. And going back in again just to blend with amethyst. And popping a little bit of nylon on the inner corner of the eye just so that that pops as well. I'm using the MAC Extended Play Mascara on Annalise's top and bottom lashes. Using MAC Cosmetics Saw Lip Liner, I'm just going to line the lips and then I'm going to go over top with Creme de Nude lipstick. I'm using a lighter lipstick so it gives an ombre and fuller lip effect. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.